Hey everybody, my name is Akila, and today I'll be showing you guys how I created this ombre crochet wig. So let's go ahead and get started. You're gonna need a mannequin head, a crochet needle, and a mesh weaving cap. All which can be purchased at your local beauty supply store for super cheap. And of course, you're gonna need some hair. The hair that I decided to use was African Braid Durban Twist by Harlem 125. Initially, I bought three bags thinking that it would be enough, but of course it was not, so I actually had to go back and buy two more bags. So for this look, I would definitely recommend purchasing five bags of hair for a more full look. This is the first color that I'm using. It is in RT30. And what I really like about this hair is obviously the color. Um, this is a really pretty brown color and then the roots are darker so it looks like a really natural ombre. And this is the color that I'm using in the back. It's RT33 and it is a darker brown color. And I have to mention that this hair is extremely soft compared to Marley hair. It just has more of a natural feel. And by the way, I put the link in the description box for where you could get this hair. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to put the weaving cap onto your mannequin head. I then went ahead and started crocheting some of the hair onto the head and this is what it looks like. To crochet the hair onto the mannequin head, you're going to take your open crochet needle and then you're going to stick it through about three or four of the holes and I wouldn't do any more than that or else your wig will turn out really tight. Making sure that the clasp is open, you're then going to take your piece of hair and you're going to add it to the top of your needle. You're then going to close your clasp and then you're going to pull the hair all the way through. And this is what your little loop is going to look like. You're then going to take the two strands of hair here at the bottom and you're going to pull them through the loop. After you pull the hair through, you are going to take the two strands of hair at the bottom and secure them in a knot just like this. So this is what my wig looked like after I got done crocheting all the hair onto it. You can't really tell here, but as I mentioned before, I did run out of hair. And then I realized that the hair was so many different lengths and then the ombre was all over the place. There were just so many different things that was wrong with the wig. I tried so hard to make this work, but I gotta keep it real with y'all and say that this was a complete fail. So I went ahead and redid the wig and this is what it looked like. There's not a huge difference, but as you can see, the ombre is more consistent and less all over the place as it was before. But yeah, this is the final look. And what I love most about this hairstyle, along with the texture of the hair, is how natural that it looks. And I forgot to mention that I didn't leave any of my hair out. So tell me what you all think about this look in the comments below. And please make sure that you like this video and subscribe to my channel.